This is another one that's real easy. Now I'm going to take the powdered sugar and the cornstarch. Just take a fork and just kind of fluff that in there. Because this is what we're going to roll the cookies in to help coat them before we cook them. Okay. Just make sure, you know, it's fairly well distributed there. Grab yourself a box of red velvet cake mix. So we're going to need some melted butter. Okay. Then we're going to need two eggs. Now the eggs, I like going ahead and, and just mixing them up separately before you add them into this. Just mix that all together. Once again, you can use a little kitchen aid to mix these if you want. If you try a hand mixer, don't use the whisk. Um, and uh, don't use, if you have one of the little corkscrew tit, um, bits to it, that would work the best if you're using a hand mixer. If not, this stuff's just going to stick in there. <laughs> Okay, so basically, I'm looking for about you know an inch, inch and a half, depending on what size you want there. And you're just going to roll the entire thing into there. Like so. And that's not only for flavor, it gives it a nice uh, crispy texture on the outside when it cooks up. And then, of course, the cornstarch is a thickening agent that helps it to hold on uh, to it better, too. So. When cooking these, you actually would, um, these are preferred to cook a little bit on the soft side. Because if you overcook these, they'll turn into a brick in no time. So if they look like they're a little bit moist inside, that's fine. Because <laughs> it'll still have that uh, good texture. But you don't want to have it to where it's really dark and moist when it first comes out inside. Because then it's still raw. Because you can tell once it's, um, if you sit there and take it and it's just kind of gooey as it, um, uh, if you pull one apart and it's gooey inside and starts uh, slithering away on you, yeah, it's a little too undercooked. But if you take it, you pull it apart, it looks moist, but it's still holding firm. That's uh, what you're looking for in cooking these. Okay. It looks like on the first one that you patted it down. Do you, do you press them down a little bit or not at all? These, I usually do press them down just a little bit. And the reason that I do that is just to kind of make sure that they cook evenly through these. Um, these don't do like the, uh, the chocolate. They don't rise and expand quite as much. So I always try to pat them out evenly um, with each one so that way they're guaranteed to cook evenly through them. 